Hello and welcome to the Game Ship with me, Mark. Today I'm going to talk you through one of the easiest mods for retro games that you'll probably ever do. And the amount of fun you can have out of these mods is well worth just this little effort. So all you need to do, first of all, is go to romhacking.net. There's the address there. I'm going to talk you through how to apply a hack to a Super Nintendo game. Um, let's go for Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart. So the first thing you need to do, because it's specific to that system, is click Sections and Utilities. Once you're in there, choose the platform Super, Super Nintendo. There it is. In the search title, SNES Tool. Click Go, and there you go. So the SNES Tool, here you can see, a tool for SNES ROMs handles things such as IPS patch crea creation and patching, PAL NTSC hacks, and other functions useful to copier owners and hackers. So just simply click here, download file now, and if I just pull that up, you can see that's downloaded. It's a very, very small file. And you get a little zip file. So, once you've got that little zip file, just click that. Let me just minimize that. And drag that to your desktop. So you're unzipping it. What you want to do then open the file and just leave it running I mean it's you can see there it's uh, DOS commands but uh, all made up into a nice little GUI that's the program SNES tool so you may as well minimize that at this stage open up your browser again go back to home and you'll see here ROM hacks click on that and click on platform there's a million there's every platform possible in here Super Nintendo Mario Kart click go and look at this a whole host of Mario Kart hacks um, I'm gonna go for Mario Kart R because I want to play this and I will play it for the channel so click on that here you go this is a modification of the original Super Mario Kart game for the SNES it contains all new courses brand new graphics, altered music and even Kirby as a playable character replacing Toad. Well if you didn't like Toad and you love Kirby this is the hack for you. Scroll down as you can see here this was released by D4S great work D4S um, and it's very simple here download right so once you've got that downloaded just do show in folder and you have another zip file just make sure it's an IPS file inside the folder. There is a README file here that tells you all about the hack. What you need to do now is make sure that you have a proper functioning version of the game that you are applying this hack to. So very simply, get yourself over to one of the ROM downloading websites. Um, I'm just going to go to Cool ROM here. Search for the game you want. Super Mario Kart. and as you can see Super Nintendo Super Mario Kart scroll down here and you will see a link just here alternative download link just click on that right so I've just moved the advert out of the way and you see within that window download your file just click on that and your file will download once that file is downloaded you'll see here just click on show in folder I'm doing all of this in Chrome just in case anyone's wondering Super Mario Kart drag that onto your desktop uh, let me just minimize this and this right so we need to just drag that onto the desktop so we can see it and close that so the other thing you need to drag onto your desktop now is the IPS file. So just drag that there as well. Close that down. 
All you have to do now, very simply, is open up the SNES tool and use your keyboard to select the options. Use IPS is the one you want. So that will then show you your folder structure. The file you want to show at this point is the IPS file. Here's mine here. So I'm just going to hit enter on that. Now it asks me for the game I want to patch. So just find the game you want to patch. Super Mario Kart. IPS patched OK. So all I'll do now is double click on my ROM file. At this stage you will have to have had a emulator installed on your machine, your PC. So I've got SNES 9X installed and so it will open automatically. So just double click on that and you will see the game open. As you can see straight away down in the bottom right hand corner it's got D4S. You can see that this is that the hack has taken hold. Click start on that. Just to show you that it's worked, you can see here it's Kirby. So there you go. That is the very, very easy way to change your retro games and have a bit of fun with them, mess about with them on your PC and uh, apply some hacks that other people have made on the website of your choice. So the website I've gone for, as I said before, was romhacking.net. Find a game you want and check out what hacks they've got. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.